What's happening? Dustin here with Life in a Mustang, and today I'm bringing you another episode of This Tool is Cool. And today I got something that you're gonna use for building an engine, a transmission, something that you gotta be very precise when you're torquing it down. And that would be. A torque wrench. This is a Matco torque wrench. It is a 3 8 drive. I think each click of the ratchet is four degrees. So there's a lot of teeth in there. It's gonna it's gonna be good for in them tight spots. Now with a Matco torque wrench, you're gonna need a few different ones to get the job done. This one is only 3 8 It's got a flex head right here, as you can see. Torque wrenches only go up to a certain specification. You turn this one on, it's gonna have inch pounds, foot pounds, newton meters, and angle. So say you gotta torque it down to 50 foot pounds and then go another 90 degrees. That's what a, what's good about a digital torque wrench is that you can get it right on, precise as you can be. Now, the only downfall with torque wrenches is that they only have a range from like this one is five foot pounds to 100 foot pounds. And say, that's gonna take care of my valve covers, some my timing cover, some smaller stuff. And when you get down to torquing down crank bolts, head bolts, cross bolts, you're gonna need a different torque wrench that has a higher foot pound, inch pound rating. So this one's good to a certain extent, and then you gotta move up to another different torque wrench. Now this one may start down way down at five, foot pounds and go to 100 foot pounds and then say my crank bolts are 125 well I can't use this I have to get a different torque wrench and it may start at 20 to 250 foot pounds you see where I'm going with this so there's a different torque wrench for every application it, one digital torque wrench isn't a do-all most mechanics have three torque wrenches in their set you know, they even have one fourth. This is three eighths. So it's usually three eighths to half inch to three quarter drives. Those are the big ones. Those are the ones like I use at work. You know, torque wrenches that are four feet long and they go up to 2,000 and they got a gear reduction on here. So actually cranking 100 foot pounds is really 1,000 foot pounds. But that's in bigger equipment. For building an engine, you can get yourself about three different torque wrenches and you can fully build a motor with those no problem you're gonna have every range from newton meters foot pounds and inch pounds that you're gonna need now let's go over and I'm gonna show you the functions of this torque wrench what it can do what you can do with it I'm gonna show you how to work it so let's get started with that okay what we have here is the Mako digital torque wrench comes with your warranty card your instructions I've already turned it on now right here is your units, foot pounds, it does, wait here, angle, so here it is again, angle is 5 to 60, foot pounds is 5 to 100, and inch pounds is 1200 to 60, and newton meters is 7 to, or it's 6.8 to 135.6. And that's all this thing does, but if you want to build an engine and do it right, get yourself... A set of a couple of these for all different things that you're doing because every bolt has a different torque specification and then you can go in here show your mode peak track show your memes clear your memes backlight on backlit that's so you can see if you're working in the dark or something Set date and time, you can go through, set your date, set your time, whoops. Information, tells you uh, calibrate, last time it was calibrated, purchased, manufactured. Overview, info, you can have it count your, count the amount of times it's been torqued and the dates. Just go in here and go to exit, goes back to angle mode. Does take a second, the render back, 
So foot pounds, inch pounds, newton meters. Comes in a pretty nice case. The the ratchet on this is a flex head. It's a C clip style, and it has a. I think it's like 173 or the teeth count or the degree. I think it's like four degrees is what each click is, is four degrees. Serial number there. This is right here. These are sensors for your angle when you're using the angle. It does vibrate, it lights up. When you shut it off, you just go in here, hold the off button, shuts off, click it once, turns back on. Go through all the different settings through here. Press your unit, plus or minus, whatever you're doing. This goes into your information. Store your batteries out of your torque wrench when you're not using them. Here's your instructions. If you get one of these, I, uh, I would read it. The one that we have is the 3 8 flex, 10 to 100 foot pounds, 0 to 360 degrees, CW or CCW. It is the ETWB100FK. That would be this torque wrench that I'm showing you right here. Instructions, they just go over what each button does, how to use your torque wrench. It's in a couple different languages. So learning how to use this is actually pretty simple. Now this torque wrench isn't gonna be, you're not gonna be able to build a full engine with just this torque wrench right here. This torque wrench does you know a certain settings for degrees angles and the and the foot pounds that you apply to this so it's good for timing covers valve covers wheel studs you know brakes as in torquing down crank bolts and and your cross bolts and your rod bolts you're gonna have to get a different torque wrench that probably does a higher setting depending on the torque values of what you're working on there's all different versions of torque wrenches so you're gonna have to get a different torque wrench for just about every different thing you do on your car and altogether a normal mechanic has about three different torque wrenches that have different torque values different head sizes different lengths of the torque wrench for different foot pounds the big the bigger the torque wrench the more foot pounds you're gonna be applying so the higher that the digital gauge will go or the lower the gauge. Usually, um, this is 3 8 drive, usually half inch. Start at around 25 and go up to 250, I think. And you'll be able to do anything you want, but you're gonna have to have a couple of these because they all do something a little different and have a different range. Carrying case is nice. Uh, this is for a different flex head you can put over here or you can take it off and store it. Here's your battery storage right here. The instructions just slip in underneath here like that. When you store it, definitely store it off. Down here is where you take the batteries. Down here is where you take the batteries off. It's a little marred up. It's one thing you don't want to drop these and you want to get them uh, calibrated at least once a year if you use them quite a bit once a year no matter what this screws it is a opposite thread that way when you're pulling back on the torque wrench this doesn't unscrew snap on as have been having a lot of problems with people going to torque something down and since they're pulling this way it loosens well this way on the macros tightens it's uh kind of screwed up because I didn't know that at first and I tried to use pliers to get it off so you take that out, drop your batteries out of it, and store it without the batteries in the Mako. There's a battery storage here, here, and here. You can just throw some loose batteries down there. All right, so that's been Life in a Mustang with this tool is cool. I thank you all for watching. I put up two videos every Sunday. One is This Tool is Cool. Another one's Life in a Mustang with some type of vlog, some type of how-to. I was going to show you guys how to put in a line lock this weekend like i said last weekend 
I really didn't feel like it and I actually, I ordered some forge components for my motor and I don't really wanna be throwing in line lock and everything else cause I might go to a manual brake setup cause my motor is coming out of my car here in fact. Shortly, my forge manly rods, pistons and crank and ARP cross bolts, mains and Oh, you know, the whole, everything's ARP, everything, and holy crap, you'll spend a couple thousand dollars just on ARP bolts. But the motor's coming out, and I'm thinking I'm going to go to a manual brake system, so I don't know if I'm going to install the line lock just yet, seeing how I have to uninstall it and buy another kit and everything. I'm sorry about that, but I might do the line lock. I might not, you know, do it through the week. I don't really feel like rushing. I have family in town, whatever, no excuse. I didn't get it in. I'm sorry about that. But this is, this tool is cool. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.